Chapter 2, Lesson 1, Solve Equations with Rational Coefficients. You will be able to solve equations with rational coefficients. The numerical factor of a term that contains a variable is called the coefficients of the variable. In the equation 3 fourths c equals 18, the coefficient of c is a rational number, and the coefficient is 3 fourths. To solve an equation when the coefficient is a fraction, multiply each side by the multiplicative inverse of the fraction. So here in 3x, 3 is the coefficient, x is the variable. So letter A, solve 3 fourths c equals 18. To solve this, I'm just going to rewrite it. What you're going to do is you're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction. And you're going to do that on both sides. Those go away, and you're left with c equals. Now, when you multiply this, 18 times 4 is 72, and 1 times 3 is 3, and 72 divided by 3 equals 24. So c equals 24. Now let's check our answer and make sure we know what we're doing here. We got our correct answer. In the check, use your original equation and rewrite it. 3 fourths C equals 18. Plug in 24 for C. Now I'm going to put 24 over 1 because I'm going to be multiplying those fractions. 3 times 24 is 72 and actually I see a typo here this should be a 4 there we go 4 times 1 is 4 equals 18 72 divided by 4 is in fact 18 and it works out Let's solve the following equations. To get rid of 1 fifth, you're going to multiply each side by 5 over 1. You are left with x equals 12 times 5 is 60 over 1, or just 60. Letter C, we're going to multiply both sides by negative 9 over 2. Put our 4 over 1. We are left with d equals 4 times negative 9 is negative 36. 1 times 2 is 2. Divide negative 36 divided by 2, and we get d equals negative 18. Fifteen equals five thirds n. I'm going to rewrite these. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which is three fifths. Put that over one. We are left with n equals fifteen times three is forty five. Five times one is five. Divide it out. Nine equals n. Letter E, negative 24 equals negative 6 sevenths P. Multiply by the reciprocal, which is negative 7 6. Keep that negative with it. I'm going to put this over 1. On the right hand side, the coefficient cancels out with its reciprocal. It's um, inverse, actually. Negative 24 times negative 7 is positive 168. 6 times 1 is 6. Divide by 6, you get 28 equals P. Letter E. Now, we have mixed numbers. Change those to improper's. 1 and 1 half 
you would do 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. This would be 3 halves. x equals, same thing here, 16 times 2 is 32, plus 1 is 33. Keep the denominator of 2. Now I'll multiply by the reciprocal of 2 thirds. x equals 33 times 2 is 66, 2 times 3 is 6, divide it out, and we get x equals 11. Letter G, again, change them to improper fractions. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25, so 25 sixths equals 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, so 10 thirds C. Multiply by the reciprocal of 3 tenths. On the right hand side, we're left with C. Those cancel out. 25 times 3 is 75. 10 times 6 is 60. 75 divided by 60 is 1.25. I would also accept 1 and 1 fourth. Letter H, change it to an improper. Negative 9 times 8 is negative 72. Um, we'll stick with just the 72 for now. 72 plus 5 is 77 over 8, and then just carry the negative down. W equals, we have a plain old 108. Multiply by the reciprocal, which is negative 8 over 77. Put this over 1. These cancel out. W equals 108 times negative 8 is negative 864. 1 times 77 is just 77. Divided out. We are actually going to get a um, long decimal here. So let's change this into a uh, mixed number. So to do that, Um, actually, looking at it, I think it would go in. Uh, we have to figure out 77 into 864. 77 goes into 86 once. We get 9, bring down the 4. 77 goes into 94 once. We get 17. So we have our final answer of negative 11 and 17 over 77. So negative 11 and 17 over 77. That's where those numbers are coming from. Letter I, 1 and 7 eighths will change to an improper. 1 times 8 is 8, plus 7 is 15. So 15 eighths Y equals 4 and a half. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So 9 halves. To get rid of the coefficient, we multiply by the reciprocal, which is 8 fifteenths. 9 times 8 is 72. 2 times 15 is 30. 72 divided by 30 is 2.4. And I would also accept 2 and 2 fifths. If you were to change that to an, a mixed number and then also simplify. In the equation 3.15 equals 0.45n, the coefficient of n is a decimal. 
To solve an equation with a decimal coefficient, divide each side of the equation by the coefficient. So we solve these like we normally would any equation. To get n by itself, it is attached by multiplication. We need to do the inverse operation, which is division. So divide both sides by 0 0.45. Those go away. And we get 7. Letter B, 0.7 is the coefficient, so divide both sides by 0.7. And we get 7 again. 7 equals H this time. Letter C, solve negative 1.4M equals 2.1. Divide both sides by negative 1.4. Don't forget about that negative. And we get m equals negative, oops, undo that, lost my marker there, here we go, m equals negative 1.5. Letter D, divide both sides by negative 5.6. K equals positive 2.3. And letter E, Latoya's softball team won 75% or 18 of its games. Define a variable, then write and solve an equation to determine the number of games the team played. Okay, first and foremost, when we are using percents, in an equation, we always have to change them to a decimal, which in this case is 75%. Okay, define a variable. So we'll say we are finding the number of games, so let g equal number of games. And in this instance, we would use the percent equation, which is percent times whole equals part. The percent should always be written as a decimal. So 0 0.75. We don't know how many games they played. And the part is 18. And then we solve the equation. Divide both sides by 0.75. And we get games equals 24. So, they played 24 games.